Welcome back to the channel, Manny B Investing. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the like on the video, and share this with your friends. Share it on Twitter, tag um, PBX in there as well. Thank you for the support. I figure I would do a video on the Paribus AMA that happened Friday at 9 a.m. Central Time. I missed it. Um, I just, I wasn't paying attention to the time. Uh, I didn't, I didn't convert it. And, and I was like, oh man, it passed. I thought it was like, like, like at four or five o'clock, but it wasn't. <clears throat> so these are the rules. They're going to do three segments, project introduction, Twitter questions, and then they'll do the live act, um, asking. And then they have, um, the groups there, the channels. Okay, that's cool. And then the Twitter links in a little, you know, introduction there. And then they welcome uh, Crypto Wilson, who is the uh, COO of uh, Paribus. He did the uh, live event with uh, Timothea and Orion when they joined the market. All right, so they're just doing introductions there. It's ready to get started. He introduces himself. He's a COO and co-founder of Paribus. He's got a background in traditional finance, and we've talked about that in our team video. So no need to go through that. I'm really interested in the questions and the answers that people were. All right. So they have a sophisticated algorithm. I do not believe that has been released yet. I don't think that's going to be on the white paper. And I had a question about if they were going to just do uh, like NFTs, like new um, tokens and not the traditional digital assets. I hope they're going to do borrow and lending on everything. It just doesn't make any sense to be a niche. Uh, great question. We plan to offer for a collateral on our platform. We will provide the standard asset initially, but then quickly add the functionality to allow pool pooled unconventional assets, such as liquidity positions, NFTs, virtual land synthetics to be used in our system. That's going to be freaking cool. Imagine being able to get like an NFT from a video game. And then it actually having like a real world value. And then you can borrow against it on this platform and keep it so you can get the money for it without having to sell it and lose possession. That's just so cool. All right. Tell us about PBX token. Uh, we designed the PBX token with holders in mind and we have created three primary use cases. Okay. First, there will be an incentivized interest rate for those who are PBX holders. Second, so you get, so if you're going to be using the platform, you get a discount. Um, reward sharing, any PBX holders taking part in our liquidity programs will get a share of the rewards earned by the protocol. Third, governance, we'll be able to create, vote, and implement improved proposals. That's going to be pretty cool, but I'm all about the staking. Additionally, we just announced that our token will be deflationary. We will be taking one third of protocol fees and removing that, that quant quality quantity, I think he means from circulation permanently. Dang. All right. So I didn't think they said anything about that before. So he says we will be taking one third of the protocol fees. So of all the fees that they, you know, get all the money they get back in fees, they're going to take a third of that and they're going to permanently burn it. That's interesting. That's cool, I guess. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the token, the tokenomics, the tokens, there's a lot of tokens. So burning that burning is going to help. It's going to make it's it, it's going to help. It's going to be deflationary. That's good. All right. They ask about the roadmap. I'm looking for information on when they're going to go to Cardano. Um, 
The roadmap gives the, qual the community an overview of what's ahead for the next 14 months and to set expectations according to the sequence of events that are to come. We started work on our product early this year, expecting IOHK to have completed access to sidechains and alignment with smart contract release. As we are dependent on Cardano and other third parties to develop sidechain access, KEVM, we will continue our work as that's not the case. And after discussion with partners such as C-Fund, we are excited to announce our MVP will be released on Arbitrum in December 2021. We believe this will be great. So that's cool. We believe this will be great initial fit and testing ground for Paribus. And we look forward to when we will be able to integrate into Cardano when the functionality is ready. As we get closer to releasing our features, uh, there will be many exciting announcements. But after MVP release, some of the main items on the agenda before uh, EOY next year are implementation of alternative uh, alternative interest rate models, uh, integration of synthetics and implementation of NFT pools, virtual land, migration to Cardano, integration with partners within the ecosystem and release governance voting capabilities. Done. So that's pretty cool. So they were going to launch on Cardano, but the Cardano network isn't quite ready for them to work on side chains. They're not going to be on main. They're going to be working through side chain. They've got a lot of additional features and stuff. So they ended up partnering with C fund, uh, wave financial in IOG. And they kind of got financial backing to help them make that happen because they've been delaying. That's cool. I like that. Um, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, they just, you know, spam some stuff there. Move on to my partner. Uh, second segment, Twitter questions. High liquidity is essential for low slippage in asset trading and loan exchange between lenders and borrowers. How does Paribus platform maintain this? How does building on Cardano blockchain benefit this issue? Now, this is definitely a big question we had to deal with. This is why we chose to work on Cardano because we believe their cross-chain capabilities will allow for deep liquidity as there will be an, ab an ability to access various blockchains. Also, this is one of the many reasons why we choose to run our MVP on Arbitrum um, as they have a vast amount of liquidity on their platform. Uh, we believe a lot of liquidity will be locked into these alternative assets as the space grows Given the amount of liquidity and demand, there needs to be solutions that can unlock this value without having to force the asset owner to sell it outright. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't know much about this, but I want to look into it. This is definitely a big question we had to deal with. Okay, here's the question and answer. Awesome. Um, can you tell us a bit about the role of PBX token in the entire ecosystem, will it act as simple payment currency on all your products? And will the holders have some sort of advantage or voting rights in project decisions? He kind of answered that already. Uh, thanks for your question. PMX will actually play a very important role in the platform itself. There are a multiple, there are multiple use cases that really put PBX in the special class of tokens that has utility and governance within the protocol. For one, owners of PBX will get reduced interest costs when paying back in PBX. Also, there will be rewards sent to stakers of the PBX um, of PBX as the protocol receives fees. Additionally, uh, stakers will be able to vote on governance proposals, which will gradually shape the entire direction of Paribus. And I pray that that is not going to be on Ethereum. Oh my gosh. Um, thanks for your question. All right. That's cool. He kind of already answered that. Uh, da, da, da. Can you provide more details about the staking NFT and staking LP features in Paribus? How much API will I get? That's a bold and good question. <laughs> Paribus is an NFT lending project with a really innovative concept and current, but could you explain me what the plans you have to make yourselves known in the DeFi space when there are already strong competitors such as AAVE and Compound. Good 
question. <clears throat> In the last six months, a variety of crypto projects have been released and it's very complex to determine if they are scams. So can you explain what are features the Paribus has for which the community will have to rely on its long-term development? This new update, could investors have access to all the functions of the platform and will it be easy to use with respect to your new designs? In turn, damn, they're just bombarding with questions. Oof. Let's see if, whoa. Are they just gonna pick some or what? Good gosh. There's people just bombarding with questions. I don't know if he's answering these or what. He might have been on voice. Please answer the five best questions. Okay. So they stopped and muted it, and he's just going to pick some questions. Okay. Dang, he deleted. <laughs> uh, great question. Uh, they deleted it, though. Okay. Do you have a user manual or short videos? We are currently in the process of creating video for our community. We want to make the Paribus platform as intuitive and easy to understand as possible from creating a product that will allow users to easily navigate to in instructional videos and a spread entry. Okay, that's cool. Um, da -da 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 -da. Do you have any plans to add NFTs to the ecosystem? Yes, definitely NFTs will be a part of what we do. Uh, we, as we offer loans against NFTs, the value of proposition will increase. Tools of utility, we plan to partner with NFT companies themselves where we can create special incentives for their owners to borrow and lend on pay. Oh, that's cool. So they'll be launching NFT projects and stuff. So he just took some kind of, you know, some softballs and batted them. All right. Get a little detail. We got, we got some, we got some little details in there. Um, we got details about like the third thing. I didn't know about like the third. I don't think I remember reading about that. So that's cool. You just get a little, you just got to pay attention to a lot of this stuff and you'll get little bits and pieces kind of sprinkled in. That's what happened with Cody. Um, that's where I learned that. That's where I learned to do that, how to pay attention to projects and how to like get information. I will find like any media that they do. And I really, really, really focus especially when it's a video and you can focus in on the body language, the facial expressions. Um, we got a lot, a lot of like really early cues for bullish news from Cody by just watching the videos and paying attention to uh, Sharif's face when he would say things. Um, you know, it's almost like playing poker. Everybody has a tell. So uh, that's basically what I do. I watch the videos. I look, I read the body language. I look at the facial expressions, the things they're saying, the looks they give while they're saying certain things. And you can kind of just kind of get ideas and cues at the way they're feeling about what they're saying, um, as well as just listening and hearing what they're saying. So, you know, when it's text, it's just, you know, matter of fact, you know, it's you get what they're saying because you're reading it. But when there's, you know, video involved, you get a lot of uh, body language and stuff. So I, I like the videos better, but uh, this is good too. We learned some information, but yeah, just keep, keep grinding, keep digging for info. It will show itself. Um, 
make sure you check out the playlist that I built on Paribus. Uh, I'll put the link in the description of this video if you uh, made it through. This is going to be, you know, this is a deep dive video. It's going to be for the people that are really, really interested in Paribus. Um, and I completely understand if, you know, you didn't make it to hear me speak right now. But uh, this stuff is important. And that's why I do it. I do my own research. Uh, and hopefully, you know, it inspires you to do your own research. But if you're interested in the projects that I am interested in, then you'll be able to take advantage of the research that I'm doing for you. So, uh, yeah, do your own research. It's fun. You'll learn a lot and you might be able to get on the ground floor of a great, great project. Thank you for checking out the video, the channel. Please, if you found value in this and the other content that I make, please give us a subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.